Hello everybody, and today we have an unboxing for Unsanctioned. It's a two-player game. You can play with a friend, and each one of you will build a 60-card deck out of two 30-card half decks. Let's get into this box. That took a little longer than I thought it was going to to get inside the actual box, but okay. Inside the box, you see we have five hat decks. And a pack of land with some tokens. So let's move this off to the side. We got a white, a black, red, blue, and green. And then our land. I'm pretty sure there's enough land inside the packs to build a deck, and we won't really need this. I think this is more of like collector, but we'll we'll open this last. Guess we'll open up white first, just to see what's in here. Right. Oh, all right. So it does come with some land. So we have Flavor Judge, a Bird Advisor, Tap. Choose target spell or ability that targets a permanent you control, then ask a person outside the game if, if the story of what will happen makes sense. If they say no, sacrifice Flavor Judge and counter that target ability or spell. It's a 2-2 two -two for one and a white. Well, that's cool. Flanky Peanuts. Legendary creature, Elephant Rogue. For two and two white. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may ask target player a yes or no question. If you do, that player answers the question truthfully and abides by that answer, if able, until end of turn. Two, three. Not bad. These are actually kind of cool cards. Moat. What? I don't even understand what's going on here. RW03-UND. Uh, look at me. I'm R&D. It's an enchantment. I'm guessing that's for two colorless and a white. Oh my god. As look at me, I'm R&D. Enters the battlefield. I don't even know what's going on here. Choose a number, a second number, one higher or one lower than the first number. Oh man, all instances of the first chosen number in the full text of each permanence, permanent spell and card in any zone are changed to the second chosen number. Wow. This is crazy. <sighs> Look at me. I'm the DCI. What? For five and two white. 
ban a card other than a basic land card for the rest of the match. Oh, man. All cards with that name in any zone or sideboard are removed from the match. Wow. Staying powerful. Until end of turn and this turn, effects don't end. For two colorless and a white. Man, that's, that's kind of neat. Sword of Dungeons and Dragons for three. It's an equipment. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus two, and it has protection from rogues and from clerics. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, create a 4-4 four, four gold dragon creature token with flying and roll a, a d20, a 20-sided die. If you roll a 20, repeat this process. Equip for two. Oh my god. This is just crazy. I, I need to play this game. Seer Cadian Night Owl. That's a that's a cool looking owl. It's kind of dark though. Legendary creature bird knight. <clears throat> with night link. With night life link. Damage dealt by knights you control also causes you to gain that much life. Holy crap. For one white, Seer Cadian Night Owl gains vigilance until end of turn. Activate this ability only from sunrise to sunset. <laughs> what? For a black, Seer Canadian Night Owl gains flying from an until end of turn, activate this ability only from sunset to sunrise. He's a 4-4. Four, four. And that's for three colorless and two white. God, these cards are weird. Hey, the adorable kitten for one white. Host creature kitten. Host creature cat. When this enters the battlefield, roll a six-sided die. You gain life equal to the result. He's a 1-1. One, one. Nice. A wall, two colorless and a white. Instant target attacking, uh, exile target attacking creature. Then remove it from the game. Then put it on into the absolutely removed from the freaking game forever zone. Whoa, what the hell? That is so cool. These are just awesome, awesome cards. I really hope I get to play this game. E-M-C-E-E -E -E for two colorless and a white creature, human rogue. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, you may stand up and say in a deep, booming voice, presenting, and that creature's name. If you do, put a 1-1 one, one counter on that creature. He's a 0-1. Wow. <clears throat> go to jail for one white enchantment. When go to jail enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls until go to jail leaves the better battlefield. At the beginning of the upkeep of the exiled card's owner, that player rolls two six-sided die. If they roll doubles, sacrifice goes to jail. All right, so that's sort of like <clears throat> um, Monopoly. But then it's also like, uh, there's another white card that does the same thing, uh, Banishing Light, I think. That whenever it enters the battlefield, you exile target permanent until Banishing Light exits the battlefield. Humming. Creature bird flying. Whenever you attack with two or more creatures, and then comma, augment three, uh, colorless and a white. Reveal this card from your hand. Combine it with a target host. You augment only as a sorcery. It's a 2-3. <clears throat> Knight of the Honky Hokey Pokey. Knight of the Hokey Pokey for two white. Creature Knight with first strike. It's a 2-2. Two, two. 
for a colorless and a white. Do the Hokey Pokey prevent all damage? A source of your choice would deal to Knight of the Ho Hokey Pokey <laughs> this turn. <laughs> oh my god. This, this would be an awesome game to play. Old Guard for one and a white. Artifact Creature. Cyborg Soldier. I'd say Cyborg Soldier. Look at that. For a white, you can tap it, target, tap target creature without reminder text. Hmm. I don't know what that means. It needs a 2 1. Oh, another one of these. Ordinary Pony for two colorless and a white. Host creature horse. When this creature enters the battlefield, comma, you may exile target non-horse creature you control that wasn't put into onto the battlefield with this ability this turn. Then return it to the battlefield under its owner's control. It's a 2-3. I'm not quite sure what that means. But there's a lot of stuff on this on these cards. I don't understand what that means. Oh, Paper Tiger. That's actually kind of neat looking. For four colorless. Artifact Creature Cat. Creatures named Rock Lobster can't attack or block. He's a 4-3. Rock Lobster! Strutting Turkey for three colorless and a white. Host Creature Bird. Exile target creature card with converted mana costs two or less from the graveyard. If it has augment, combine it with the host you control. Otherwise, put it onto the battlefield. It's a 2-2. Two -two. It's kind of cool. Underdome land. Add a colorless or add one mana of any color. Spend this mana only to pay silver boarded cards costs. Nice. And then we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 planes. Not too bad. All right, let's go on to the next one. <clears throat> Black. A Cornelia Fashionable Fletcher. Legendary creature squirrel. Squirrels gotta love squirrels. Whenever you cast a spell with a squirrel in its art, you get an acorn encounter. Whenever a squirrel you control enters the battlefield or dies, you get an acorn encounter. Pay two colorless and a black. Pay X acorns. Target creature gets minus X minus X until end of turn. Pay green. Pay X acorns. Target creature gets plus X plus X until end of turn. Costs three colorless and a black and is a three three. Nice. That's that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Enter the dungeon. The two two uh, two black sorcery players. Play a magic sub game under their table. What? Starting at five life and using their their libraries as their decks. The winner searches their library for two cards, puts those cards into their hand, and shuffles their library. This is that's uh, what the that's crazy. I don't even understand that. It, the Infernal Spawn of Evil. I've seen this card before. Six colorless. A black, black, and a black. Man, that's so cool. It's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Flying and first strike. One and a black. Reveal Infernal Spawn of Evil. 
from your hand. Say, it's coming! Infernal spawn of evil deals one damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Activate this ability only during your upkeep and only once each turn. Nice. Oh, look at that. Infernal spawn of infernal spawn of evil. <laughs> oh my god. Eight colorless and two black. Creature Demon Child. Oh my god. Oh, flying first strike and trample. Once each turn while you're searching your library for you may pay one in a black reveal infernal spawning uh infernal spawn of infernal spawning of evil from your library and say I'm coming. Or I'm coming too. Oh my god. If you do, Infernal Spawn of Infernal Spawn of Evil deals two damage to a player of your choice. It's an 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh my god. But it costs 10 mana, so I mean that's that's pretty pretty Oh my god, what is this? Infernal in feet in Furnius. Infernius Spawnington. Three. Esquire. For ten and a black. That's eleven mana, people. Oh my god. Creature, beast, demon, child. What? It's a nine, nine. With flying, first strike, trample, and haste. This spell costs three less to cast for each card you've revealed this turn. When Infernius Spawnington, third, Esquire, enters the battlefield, you may say, I'm here. If you do, it deals three damage to target player. Eleven mana, though? Man, that's a lot. Oh, alright, so here's where you get your mana. I guess, uh, for zero, Jack in the Mox. Oh, like Mox Ruby, Mox Emerald. Huh, funny. Tap, roll a six-sided die. This ability has the indicate, indicated effect. Uh, for one, sacrifice this card. You lose five life. For two, add a white. Three, add a black. Four, add a... No. Three, add a blue. Four add a black, five add a red, and six add a green. So it's basically a land card that you have to hope and pray that you get what you need. Bat, creature, bat, for plus one, plus one. With flying, at the beginning of each end step, if an opponent lost three or more life this turn, comma, what augment for one and a black? Oh my God! These these cards are out of control, people. Booster Tutor for one. It's an instant. Open a sealed magic booster pack. Reveal the cards and put one of them into your hand. Oh my gosh! Some of the weirdest cards I've ever seen. Dirty rat! You dirty rat! You. For one and a black, host creature rat. Whenever this creature enters the battlefield, target opponent discards a card. It's a 1-1. One, one. Uh, well, you know, duh, for a black. Instant, destroy target creature without reminder text. Will players understand that the creature is being crushed by two parentheses. Oh, that's so cool. It's two parentheses? They say they're not a chance, but we know we're smarter than that. Hoisted Airling for two and a black. Hoisted Airling has flying as long as it's being held above the battlefield for two, uh, it has two one. Not bad. 
Inhumanic. Inhumaniac. For one and a black. Creature Brainiac. There's a 1-1. One, one. At the beginning of your upkeep, roll a six-sided die. On a 3 or 4, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Inhumaniac. On a 5 or higher, put two 1-1 one, one counters on, on it. And on a 1, remove all 1-1 one, one counters on Inhumaniac. So it can get big, or it can, you know, go back down to a 1-1. One, one. So it's basically luck of the draw. I don't like luck. Oh, Jumbo Imp. Zero, zero. Creature Imp for two and a black. Has flying. As Jumbo Imp enters the battlefield, roll a six-sided die. Jumbo Imp enters the battlefield with a number of 1-1 one, one counters equal to that result. At the beginning of your upkeep, roll a six-sided die and put that a number of 1-1 one, one counters on Jumbo Imp equal to that result. And then at the beginning of your instep, roll a six-sided die and <laughs> remove, oh, remove a number of 1-1 one, one counters from Jumbo Imp. So, it has, a potential, it has the potential of getting huge, but it also has the potential of going back down to a 0-0, zero, zero, which sucks. Poltergeist. Oh, poultry geist. Sorry, poultry geist. Two and a black. Creature spirit bird. He's a 1-1. One, one. Flying. Whenever a creature dies, you may roll a six-sided die. If you if you roll a one, sacrifice poltergeist. Otherwise, put a 1-1 one, one counter on poltergeist. Nice. These cards look amazing. They, 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 the art on these is just beautiful. Skull saucer for four colorless and two black. Creature zombie head four one. Flying. When skull saucer enters the battlefield, destroy target creature and put your head on the table. Sacrifice skull saucer when your head stops touching the. T oh my gosh. <laughs> That is so hilarious. When your head stops touching the table, you have to sacrifice this creature. Snickering Squirrel for one black. He's a 1-1 one, one Squirrel Advisor. You may tap Snickering Squirrel to increase the result of a die any player rolled by one. So it could benefit you or, I mean, it could... It could hurt. Stinging Scorpion for four colorless and a black. Host creature Scorpion. When this creature enters the battlefield, target creature and opponent controls get negative one, negative one until end of turn. It's a three, two. Nice. Underdome. And one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve swamps. Underdome and twelve swamps. Let's keep it moving. This this is really weird so far. There's a lot of cool stuff, but then also, man, some of this stuff is just bonkers. All right, now we got red. Having troubles. Hmm. See, it has a little pull tab. There we go. All right. Blast from the past. For two and a red, instant. As madness for a red, cycling for one and a red, kicker for two and a red, flashback for three and a red, buyback for four and a red, blast from the past deals two damage to any target if this spell was kicked. Create a 1 1 red goblin creature token. 
nice little instant. Boom stacker. Boom, we stack it. For two colorless and one red. Creature, goblin, artificer, artificer. Zero, zero. This boom stacker enters the battlefield. And whenever it attacks, stack two dice on top of it. All dice must be stacked vertically, one on top of the other. Wow. Boom Stacker gets plus one, plus one for each die on the stack. Boom Stacker attacks each combat at Fable. When the stack falls, sacrifice Boom Stalker. Oh man, or Boom Stacker. That's, that's pretty cool. Infinity Elemental for four and three red creature elemental this creature has in infinite power oh yeah infinite power this it's so infinite that the flavor text says it's so infinite oh my gosh wow that is so weird Pointy Finger of Doom for four. It's an artifact. For three, tap, spend Pointy Finger of Doom in the middle of the table so that it rotates completely at least once. Then destroy the closest permanent the finger points to. That's that's just, that's mean. Stet. Draconic. Proofreader. Hmm. See, some of these cards are just hard to read. Dragon Bureaucrat, legendary creature. For four and two red. He's a four four. Whenever Stet Dragon Proofreader attacks, you may exile a card from your graveyard. When you do, Stret Dragon Boom Proofreader deals four damage to any target whose name begins with the same letter as the exiled card. Pay a white. Delete the first letter of target permanent or player's name until end of turn. Well. Tra strategy schmatagy. For one and a red. Sorcery. Roll a six-sided die. Strategy. Schmatagy has... The indicated effect, do nothing, destroy all artifacts, destroy all lands, deals three damage to each creature and each player, each player discards their hand and draws seven cards, repeat this process two more times, wow, for two, a one and a red, that's, that's kind of cool. Yet another ether Vortex, for three and two red. All creatures have haste. Players play with the top card of the library is revealed. Non-instant, non-sorcery cards on top of a library are on the battlefield under their, under their owner's control in addition to being in that library. Wow, that's, that was kind of hard to read. Give me a headache. <laughs> Abstract. Inguart, Ingu, Inguana art for one and a red creature art lizard. It's a one one. Whenever you cast a spell, note the first letter of its artist's name. If that letter wasn't already noted, put a one one counter on abs, abstract Ingu, Inguana art. That's so cool. Common Iguana for one and a red. Host creature, Lizard. When this creature enters the battlefield, you may discard a card. If you do, draw a card. One, 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 three. Goblin. Haberdasher. Cre creature, Goblin ha ha hat Hatificer. 
Hmm. It's 2-2 two, two with Menace for two and a red. Other creatures you control wearing hats in their art have Menace. So, oh, that's cool. Goblin Swat. Spelt like SWAT team. Oh, it actually does say SWAT team. Goblin SWAT and then team is really, it's hard to see, but it's in there. Goblin SWAT team for three colorless and a red. Creature Goblin Warrior. <clears throat> say Goblin SWAT team. Huh? <laughs> Put a 1-1 counter on Goblin SWAT team. Unless an opponent swats the table within 5 seconds, activate this ability only once per turn. He's a 2-2. That's kind of cool. Goblin Tutor. For 1 red. Instant. Roll a 6-sided die. If you roll a 1, Goblin Tutor has no effect. Otherwise, search your library for the indicated card. Reveal it. Put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. A card named Goblin Tutor, an enchantment, an artifact, a creature, and or an instant or sorcery. That's kind of cool. Oh, I have uh, Kraken's Other Thumb for two. Legendary Artifact. If you would roll a die, instead roll two of those dice. Ignore one of those results. Nice. So it's sort of like you could pick which one you want. Paniac. <laughs> She's a Paniac! <laughs> oh, two and a, and a red. Creature Brainiac. At the beginning of your upkeep, roll a six-sided die. Paniac gets plus X plus zero until the end of turn where X is that result. It's a zero three right now. So it could be a six three. That's crazy. Scissors lizard. It's a lizard holding a pair of scissors. With scissors for feet. That's crazy. Artifact Creature Lizard for four. Four colorless. With attack power of four, defense of three. <clears throat> Creature's name paper, Tiger can't attack or block. Nice. Sixy Beast for three and a red. Creature Beast. A Sixy Beast enters the battlefield. You secretly put six or fewer 1-1 one, one counters on it. Then an uh, opponent guesses the number of counters. If that player guessed right, sacrifice 60 beast after it enters the battlefield. That's kind of cool. You could put two or three and they wouldn't know. They'd be like, oh, you put six on there. Nope. <clears throat> Super duper death ray for two and a red instant. With <laughs> trample, this spell can deal excess damage to its tar target's controller. It deals four damage to target creature. Nice. And then again, we have Underdome. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve mountains. Not bad. We need to keep going. I tell you guys, this is this is actually kind of cool. I really cannot wait to play my first game. But since we're in a pandemic right now, it's kind of difficult finding people to play.
So we have Alexander Clamaton for two and a blue legendary creature. Clam Folk Advisor Rebel. Zero four. Avatar of Me. Two colorless and two blue creature avatar. Nice. Oh! Bevy of Beevils. You better have a bevy of Beevils. Oh, man. Beevils. Beevils are so cool. Chicken a la king. Well, one and two blue. It's two, two. This is so cool. Johnny Combo Player. Nice little, nice little tutor card. For you know, one one. Richard Garfield, PhD. That is kind of weird. Legendary creature, human designer. You may play cards as though they were other car. Uh, hmm. You play cards as though they were other cards of your choice with the same mana cost. You can't choose the same card twice. <coughs> That's kind of cool. Well, that's kind of weird. Water gun balloon game. For two, it's an artifact. Water gun balloon game enters the battlefield. Each player puts a pop counter on zero. Whenever a player casts a spell, move that player's pop counter up one. Whoever gets to five first player creates a 5-5 five, five pink giant teddy bear. And reset all pop counters to zero. Nice. <clears throat> For one and a blue. Carnivorous death parrot. Well, that sounds scary. 2-2, two, two, flying. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice for carnivorous death parrot unless you say it's flavor text. Save a kill spell to deal with this guy. Nice. Cheaty face for what looks like two blue when he's covering up the other the other cost there. See that? Creature Ifrit for 2-2. Two, two. If Chidi Face is in your hand, you may sneak Chidi Face onto the battlefield. If an opponent catches you right away, that player may exile Chidi Face. It's flying. That's kind of cool. Common Courtesy. Two colorless and two blue. Enchantment. When a player casts a spell without Asking your permission while casting it, counter that spell. When a player asks your permission to cast a spell and you refuse, counter that spell and sacrifice common courtesy. That is so neat. Just be like, no. I don't want you to. Magic word for two and a blue. Enchantment aura. You enchant a creature. As magic word enters the battlefield, choose a word. Whisper the chosen word. Tap enchanted creature. Nice. Merman. Host creature. Human fish. You may draw a card. For four and a blue, it's a three three. It's so, this is this is so cool. Rings a bell. For two and two blue. As rings the bell enters the battlefield, choose a word with four or more letters. 
After you say the chosen word for the first time each turn, an opponent may ring or imitate a bell within five seconds when no opponent does draw a card. It's two and two blue. Rock Lobster! For four. Artifact Creature Lobster. Creature's name, Scissor Lizard, can attack or block. Time out. Instant. For four and a blue. Roll a six-sided die. Put target non-land permanent into its owner's library just beneath the X card where in its library, where X is the result. Nice. That's upside. Oh, no, no, I guess it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. Damn. Topsy-turvy. Enchantment. The phases of each player's turn are reversed. As long as there are more than two players in the game, the turn order is reversed. Wall of Fortune for one and a blue. Artifact Creature Wall, Defender. You may tap or untap an untapped wall you control to have any player roll a die. That player re-roll a die that player rolled. It says zero four, but it does have Defender, so it's not like it can attack anyway. Again, Underdome and... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 blue lands. We're getting to the meat, guys. We're getting to the meat. <clears throat> Last little half deck. B-I-N-G-O for one and a green. Creature Hound. That does not look like a hound. Okay, I guess I guess it does. I don't I don't know. It that has one one and trample. Whenever a player casts a spell, put a chip counter on its converted mana cost. Bingo gets plus nine plus nine for each set of three numbers in a row. With chip counters on them. Wow. So he could be a. He can be a big boy. Damn. Old fogey. That's cool. It's one of the older style cards. For two green. Summon dinosaur. Phasing. Cumulative upkeep. One. Echo. Fading three. Bands with other dinosaurs. Protection from. Homeridus, Homerids, Snow-Covered Plains Walk, Flanking Rampage 2. He's a 7-7 seven, seven for 2 green. That's crazy. Papa Pippa, Duchess of Dice. For 2 colorless and a green. Legendary Creature, Human Noble. 2-2. Two, two. For two and a green, tap and roll a six-sided die. It becomes a green die creature token with power and toughness, each equal to its result. You can create, you can create a six-six creature. Nice. Three for two and a blue. Tap and re-roll any die. Nice. So you just keep creating creatures and just tap and re-roll and they're... Reroll them to make them stronger. Uh, for two and a green, Squirrel Farm, Enchantment. For one and a green, reveal a card in your hand, covering the artist's credit. Target opponent guesses the artist. If the guess wrong, create a 1-1 one, one green cr squirrel creature token. That's cool. 
Surgeon Commander for three and a green. Legendary Creature Wombat Chameleon. Wombat Bat Chameleon. 3-3. Three, three. Whenever you augment, enchant, or mutate a creature you control, draw a card. Tap to add one of any mana. White, blue, black, red, or green. Nice. Mana fixture. Mana fixtures are nice, man. Timmy Power Gamer for two and two green. Legendary Creature Human Gamer. For four, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. And it's a 1-1. One, one. What is that? What is that? Tell me what that is. That is absolutely crazy. What is this, guys? Huh? I I, I have no idea. So uh, this is this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Apparently, you can do all these different things: counter target creature spell, destroy target enchantment, destroy target land. Target player gains X life and destroy target artifact. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Bronze colander for four artifact spell. Spells you cast cost one less to cast. You must speak in a voice other than your normal voice. And then when you speak in a normal voice, sacrifice bronze color colander. Elvish Impersonators for three and a green creature elves. As Impersonators enters the battlefield, roll a six-sided die twice. Its base power becomes the first result, and its base toughness becomes the second result. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> Entirely normal chair. Entirely no or normal armchair. Uh, funny thing is, I saw a movie last night that was about a killer chair. A killer armchair. Um, this is an artifact. It doesn't have a casting cost. During your turn, if entirely normal armchair is in your hand, you may hide it on the battlefield. For zero, return normally entirely normal armchair to its owner's hand. Only any opponent may activate this ability, and only if they see entirely normal armchair. Pay two, sacrifice it, and destroy target attacking creature. That's kind of cool. So you get you get a card for free, and then as long as no one sees it, later on you can sacrifice it and destroy it, a, a target attacking creature. That's that's cool. Free range chicken for three and a green. Creature bird, one uh, with three three. For one and a green, roll a six sided die. If both results are the same, free range chicken gets plus X plus X we're in, until end of turn. Well, X is the result. If the total of those results is equal to any number, any other total you have rolled, this turn, sacrifice it. Wow. So, I mean, even if you only roll threes, that's a 9-9. Nine, nine. That's crazy. It gets plus 6, plus 6. Growth spurt. Instant. For 1 and a green. Roll a 6-sided die. Target creature gets plus X, plus X until end of turn, where X is the result. Half squirrel, half whatever. I don't see a casting cost. I think you would augment this. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield, minus one, minus zero. Mother kangaroo. For four and a green. Host creature, kangaroo. When this creature enters the battlefield, roll six-sided die. Put a number of one-one counters on this creature equal to those to the result to one one so it could be it could get a lot bigger 
the Slaying Mantis for five and two green. Creature Insect Wrestler. Just a second. As long as this spell is on the battlefield, players can't cast, can't move cards on the battlefield. Slaying Mantis enters the battlefield by being thrown from a distance of at least three feet. Yeah, okay. When Slaying Mantis enters the battlefield, it fights each creature and opponent controls that it touched as it entered. It's a 6-6. Six, six. Just make sure that, that you throw it somewhere where you don't touch creatures. That way it just sits there and then you get other, bu other buffs from all the other cards you have. Spirit of the Season for 1 and 2 green. Creature Tree Folk. Spirit. It's a 3-3. Three, three. When Spirit of the Season enters the battlefield, it gains haste if it's summer. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on it if it's autumn. You gain 5 life if it's winter. If it's spring, search your library for a basic land card. Reveal it. Put it under your hand. Then shuffle your library. So, it's like, depending on what time of year you're playing Magic, you get a different ability. <clears throat> Wild Crocodile for one and a green. Host Creature Crocodile. Search your library for a basic land card. Reveal it. Put it in your hand and shuffle your library. It's a 1-1. One, one. And then again we have Underdome and 10 lands. Now for the tokens and lands, the last part of the box. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I really do. It's been fun. All right, we got a foil planes. We got a foil island. We got a foil swamp. We got a foil mountain. Foil Forest, Non-Foil Plains, Non-Foil Island, Non-Foil Swamp, Non-Foil Mountain, Non-Foil Forest. Then we got a Beeble and Dragon. We got a Beeble and a Dragon. Another Beeble and Dragon. Oh, we got four more. Alright, so those are beebles and squirrels. The giant teddy bear. And goblin. Giant teddy bear and an acorn stash. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed my video. Please leave any comments that you have. And I would gladly get back to you. This has been a lot of fun. Have a nice day.